coverage you can count on with meteorologist Grace Anello and the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. Well, we've had our fair share of showers and thunderstorms this evening, and just a few lingering showers are still in the area, mainly west of the I-65 corridor. But many of us are completely dry as we head to bed tonight. Cloud cover still in the area, making it hazy to see on all of our cameras. You can even see just a little bit of rain there in Decatur. Well, right now to go to bed, we're at 76 in Muscle Shoals, 74 in Decatur, so we're not feeling half bad. Well, there is a nice breeze tonight. This is coming out of our west, and it's about 5 to 10 miles an hour there. Now, by the time we wake up tomorrow morning, it's not too much stronger, but a little bit. We're talking about, right, so most of us just around 10 miles an hour, 9 in Scottsboro, a little bit higher, 12 in Gunnersville, 13 in Haleyville as well. So we will still have that breeze in store for us tomorrow. Well, your overnight low temperature tonight is going to be in the low 70s. The cloud cover and the rain are going to help us stay a little bit warmer with the cloud cover, a little bit cooler with the rain, so we're balancing out there in the low 70s. We will have those showers and storms lingering. Alrighty, well, when we wake up tomorrow morning, some of us will be waking up to rain. It will not be widespread in nature at this point of your Monday, but some of us should leave some extra time as we head to work tomorrow morning. We'll get to the future radar in a minute. Your wake-up temperature is in the mid-70s. By the time we get to 9 a.m., that chance for rain is higher, and so are those temperatures. We're talking upper 70s at that point. All right, well, this puts us Monday at 6 a.m., and you can see the storms and showers that we do see are more isolated in nature, meaning that very few of us are seeing rain, but those that do are seeing heavy rain. Now, fast forward, this puts us to about noon, and we see more widespread showers and storms. A lot is coming to our southern Tennessee counties, and then we have more of that scattered nature here in Alabama. Now, push forward to 2 p.m., and we start to see much stronger storms really in our southern counties. These could bring gusty winds, heavy downpours. We're talking flash flooding is a concern in this area. So this is after lunch tomorrow. Now these storms get out of the way before too long and then they return just a little bit later on Tuesday afternoon and then those get out of the way too. So what I'm going to be monitoring for you the next few days is definitely that gusty wind talking 30 to 40 miles an hour there as well as the possibility for flash flooding. We've been so dry for the past few months and now we're introducing plenty of rain into the forecast which means that our ground could become oversaturated very easily. But don't worry, I'll be watching it for you and so will the rest of our team and we will all keep you updated. Now what can we expect? Anywhere from an inch to two and a half inches in the next few days here in North Alabama and Southern Tennessee, which is certainly a blessing given the drought that we're in. Well, make sure you don't get soaked at the wrong moment. Download the Way 31 Storm Tracker weather app to make sure that you can stay updated based on your precise location every day. All right, well, we are trending warmer over the course of the next 10 days and we see that right here in our seven day. We will be in the upper 80s for your Monday. Not half bad there with those rain chances. But by the time we get to this midweek, we do have temperatures in the low and mid 90s.